at the scene tip, we gonna get straight, straightening, 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 yeah, straightening, 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 yeah. Don't not get straightened, but straightening. Don't not get straightened, but straightening. Don't not get straightened, but straightening. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Olivia Lorraine, an upcoming content creator. If you do know who I am, you already know what time it is today. And today we are doing a part two of our Q&A. I have on my iPad, one of my Christmas gifts, a bunch of questions that I asked for my followers to ask me. So we're just going to get into it because I'm excited. Okay, so my first question, I could just show y'all a picture, but is do you have a favorite picture of yourself and can you show us? I got a lot of favorite pictures, but I'm gonna put a few because I can never just put just one. So I'm gonna put a few pictures, but a favorite would probably have to be a picture with my locks or when I had my lace front. Again, I can't pick, so I'm just gonna put some pictures here. So the second question is what is my major? I done changed major now twice, once. But I'm thinking about changing it again, but it's very long. So when I say it to people, they be like, say it again? Like I have to repeat it again. My major is family and consumer science with a concentration in food service management. And that is like in the restaurant, working as a chef, stuff like that. Because if you don't know, for my people that are new, I don't even know if I've even said anything about it, but I want to become a private chef as well as a full-time content creator. So that's why I am in uh, food service management. I was originally in food and nutrition, and that's for if you want to become a diet, like dietetic, whatever they call it. I don't want to become that. I was in the wrong major for a whole semester, and now I'm in the right major, I think, but that's my major. So I'm going to say it again, family and consumer science with a concentration in food service management. Another question I have is plans for the next five years, college for one, two, I plan on going to culinary school after college, preferably either in Houston or Atlanta. That's my top two places that I possibly want to live. So Houston or Atlanta, plan on going to culinary school there. I know uh, New York City has a lot of good culinary schools, but I don't know, I'm not really a city person. So living in the city would not be for me, but it's all about the bag, so I mean. But I plan on doing culinary school after college. I don't know if I'll be reaching towards my master's or whatever case may be, but if I do think of that, then that might be the next, the next thing I do. Other than that, besides culinary school and all that, I do plan on excelling with my business organization, which is a whole separate video of my business. So we're not gonna get into that today. That's a little, that's a little whole informational that I gotta give y'all, but. That's what I plan on doing for the next five years. My next question is, how are you doing mentally? Mentally, I'm doing good. Like I, I'm picking up the camera again. I have not picked up this camera since. I, it's been a good minute. I have to look back at one of my videos, but when I had the Christmas pajamas on, that was like a week before Christmas or something like that, I think. So it's been a little while before I picked up the camera. I was a little burnt out from like content and all that stuff and just working on my page and stuff like that. So I recently posted, here's a picture of my outfit. I ate that up. Y'all already know. I recently posted, so you know, that was a little hint that like I'm making my comeback. I'm coming back with my stuff, stuff like that. But mentally I'm doing pretty good. Like I'm about to go back on campus next week, back to like my independence. Cause home, I ain't really been doing much, but like when I get on campus, it's up for it. But yeah, I've been doing good mentally. Like, so I have two similar questions, like not, they're familiar questions, similar, familiar, whatever word it is. My sign, my zodiac sign, and then somebody had asked me when my birthday was. My birthday is March 16th. I am a Pisces, not too much on me. I am a Pisces. Pisces are the best sign besides Scorpios. I don't like Geminis. Sorry, but yeah, I am a March 16th Pisces. You already know if you're a Pisces, please go in the comments below because we, we gotta stand up for each other. We, we gotta stand up for each other. My next question is my favorite thing about college. That's a good question. But like, my favorite thing about college is like my independence because I just get to, I do certain things alone, like going to a library and chilling, 
stuff like that like i'm in my room like i don't know like college is it's a vibe like you don't have necessarily any supervision up on you my parents aren't really like up on me but like y'all get what i'm saying in college like you have your own independence like you get to do what you want kind of go out when you want stuff like that so i like the vibe the independence that you get from it stuff like that but my favorite thing would have to be that's kind of hard like i guess being around my friends and stuff like that and we're able to do what we want like hanging out with them them coming to my room or me going to their room whatever like just just a vibe like the games and stuff like that i'm a basketball person i prefer basketball over football season me personally but it's just me but the basketball games are definitely a vibe like the events that the school hosts stuff like that so that'd probably be my favorite thing about college it's like the ambiance kind of so i was really i already knew that i was gonna get this question but you know we're gonna answer it because it's 2023 and we're gonna be for real ever been in love and this is where I announced that I am not in a relationship anymore. If you follow me on Instagram, because that's really all I really showcased it on. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I was in a four year relationship and we recently parted ways. It was, wasn't bad or anything at all, but yes, I have been in love. If you, <laughs> my people that know me, yes i have been in love i i like fall hard so you know but it's nothing to sympathy and all that about we both party ways this next question is just simple what's your favorite color i don't think that i really gotta answer that but i'm more of a neutral color person i like emerald green i don't pink is like my third favorite color I don't really wear it that much, but it's not really showcased on my stuff and stuff like that. But I do like pink. I don't love pink. It's not a favorite, but my favorite color would have to be like cream color, off-white, emerald green, brown. Yeah, like neutral colors like that, gray, obviously black. So yeah my next question is tips and advice for people who want to start a youtube channel in 2023 do it that's my number one advice is to do it i started my channel in june 2022 and i've gotten so much support from it my dad was actually the one that was like he saw that i was on tiktok a lot making tiktoks or like scrolling through tiktoks a lot he was just like make a youtube channel so I did and I've been loving it ever since and I'm going to make it a full-time thing. But my advice for people who want to start a YouTube channel, do it. Do not be afraid to vlog in public. I'm starting to get better at it. I do get nervous in certain places, certain crowded places like malls or conventions and stuff like that. But I'm starting to get better. Have confidence. If you care about what people think, maybe YouTube is not for you because YouTube is a place where things could be said negative or positive and maybe you may take uh constructive criticism not lightly so um there's a lot of things that sub for sub stuff don't do it don't do it that's don't do it they will subscribe to you subscribe to you subscribe to you and youtube will actually unsubscribe some of the people themselves because they think that it's spam that like people are like just random spam. So you could go and have a hundred subscribers and the next thing you know, you wake up and you got 80. Don't do that sub for sub stuff, please. I beg of you. The group chats, the, 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 stay away from that for a good little minute until you get like big time maybe. But I'm not gonna lie. I am in a, a small supporter group chat, but I don't, like sub for sub yes i sub to them yes i'm active on their stuff or whatever but some of these people the way they be acting when you don't sub to their stuff or you don't comment you don't like on every video this is why i'm saying if you're starting out don't join that stuff just yet like don't get into that stuff just yet because these group chats are low-key dangerous i'm, I'm just letting you know thing do not get a camera off the jump when you're starting on youtube 
I am literally, you guys are on my phone right now, my iPhone 13 Pro Max. There is nothing wrong with starting on a phone. I told myself when I reach a certain amount of subscribers or whatever, I'm going to gift myself, a gift to myself, a camera. Or I asked my parents for my birthday actually, if they could give me a camera. I said, that's the only thing I want is a camera. So I asked them, but if I don't get that, then I'm gonna make a goal for myself that when I reach a certain amount of subscribers, I'm going to get a camera. But do not get a camera off the jump because what if YouTube is not for you? Then you just got a camera. I mean, yes, you can sell it, but like cameras cost 400, 500, 600, up to $700. Do not get a camera off the jump. Start off on a phone. There's no shame in your game. Starting off of a phone. I have a tripod right here, stuff like that. Make sure you have a good banner good cute thumbnails like eye-catching thumbnails and stuff like that this next question that i got i'm actually gonna take it as a compliment because nobody's ever i don't think anybody's really ever asked me this question have i ever thought about modeling no but if the opportunity were to come to me i certainly would do it but i've never thought about like modeling because i know how critical the modeling world is and i'll be darned to be getting some criticism on some people or whatever. I'm not, but have I ever considered it? Yes, but for like streetwear brands and stuff like that, I've never modeling, I can do like streetwear brands and stuff like that, photo shoots and yada yada. But like when it comes to the runway and, and the top notch type stuff, like uh, New York Fashion Week type stuff, I don't really know if that's for me but because it's not it's not even about the glam and stuff like that it's about the the up to par the certain hair certain outfit like certain body type like i don't know if like the up to par stuff is for me but like if it was like modeling then potentially yes but if i were to get like, any type of deal or anything to do fashion week i'm not gonna turn it down but it would be something to experience so it's something to consider. This question I got, this is gonna be a long little question. Are you still considering transferring? Um, This is what I want to tell y'all. I am not transferring. And for these reasons, exactly. Well, I'm not transferring this year. Um, The applications that I tried to fill out, well, I filled them out or whatever the case may be, but transferring is a lot of work. And the school I go to, not gonna bash my HBCU, but if you know, you know. If you know what university I go to, I'm not gonna disclose what university I really go to, but it's in, it's in my channel. You, you, you know what university I go to. And when it comes to organization and paperwork of doing so, so no, I will be returning for my sophomore year. After my sophomore year, we will see if I am staying for my junior, senior, whatever but i do not plan as of right now to transfer i the reason why i wanted to transfer i actually disclosed it on my instagram i wanted to transfer because socially it was not for me if you know me personally you know what i went through and academically it, it, it was good like semester was fine academically 3.1 dean's list get into it we already knew that though but like socially, if you know me personally again, you know that like things that have been going on friend wise and stuff like that. And I just couldn't put up with it because I'm a person that is very closed off and shuts down easily when I don't feel like dealing with anything or whatever. And it's not hard for me to make friends because I'm normally very open and friendly. But the times that I have been, it's been towards the wrong people and then yeah especially at this at my university so but spring semester we're gonna see how spring semester goes and that'll let me know for sure if i'll be coming back but as of right now i am coming back so for my friends that were telling me don't transfer or oh why are you transferring i'm gonna miss you stuff like that surprise i'm probably going to come back so take positions because I'm, I'm on my knees right now but like i was kind of like toasted i'm not supposed to do like this my next question is, what is your favorite thing to do? Obviously, make content and do what I gotta do. Another one of my favorite things is 
like shopping, putting outfits together, fashion, posting, like fashion, stuff like that. Doing YouTube, obviously, probably one of my top favorite things to do. Doing content things related, making money, of course. Who don't like making money, but shopping cooking as well i do love to cook so those are my favorite things my age legal that's all you need to know you'll find out on my birthday vlog i got this really good question um how much do you feel you have grown before college and during college good lord if you know me in high school you would say now that olivia has changed so much since high school if you know me since middle school you will look at me now and be like she has changed so much since then high school let's just say i had a glow up i definitely had a glow up i don't know if i if i have a picture from high school i'll put it here but and then now so i don't know if you can see a difference but i've definitely changed since high school and like going into college stuff like that, my style has changed. My I'm not gonna say I fully changed myself, but like my style has definitely changed. The way I carry myself definitely changed. High school, I kind of was just like, it's high school. Like I'm not coming here to look cute for nobody. I I'm not here for nobody, but for this diploma, and I'm out. But like, I would say I've changed mentally because things started to be eye-opening for me and I'm a very observant person. So looking around at what other people are doing is teaching me, I don't wanna do that, let me not do that. That's dumb, why are they doing that? And it's teaching me, don't carry yourself like that, don't do that, stay on your path. Like, So mentally, I've definitely changed. Style-wise, definitely changed as well. Again, if you know me from high school, middle school, definitely changed my hair. You know, my middle school hair, my hair was getting silk pressed over and over and over and over again. My hair has been getting silk pressed since I was five, six. It's either silk presses, braids, cornrows, or like them little plaits with the bar ribs. Those were my top styles. Then I finally got my first lace front. Was it for, wasn't for my 16th. It was for something. Senior pictures was my first wig, right? No, I forgot what it was. Okay, so I actually did find a picture while I was looking. It was senior pictures. So I'll put a picture right here or a video of my first lace front. But if you know me, I've been in silk presses again since I was six and I decided to do locks because I was just tired of doing my hair every day. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was tired of it. Slicking my hair up with some eco gel every day. And then after a good two weeks, you gotta wash that stuff out. And then getting $200, $300 braids, soft locks, sew-ins. I, I was I was tired of it. And I was like, like I kept seeing TikToks, you know how the algorithm work. Kept seeing TikToks of like, if you want locks, this is your sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. And I was like, you know what? Why not? And as you can tell, 11 months strong. I'm about to hit my one year on the 24th of this month. So, and I was thinking about dying them, but that's a surprise if I do or don't. I'm loving my babies, 11 months strong. Yes, I'm still, I still been getting, um, I recently just had soft locks and I saw TikToks about how it's so hard to take them out. Oh, soft locks are so hard to take out. And I'm just like, Imagine y'all think y'all struggling. Imagine having to search for your real lock wrapped up in the soft lock trying to take it out. Like, do y'all know how treacherous that was? It's gonna be a long while before I get soft locks, but I'm gonna embrace my babies for right now. But yeah, so dog made a weird noise. If you hear surround sound, that's my father downstairs watching a movie with our surround sound or whatever. Anyways, I am your sign. Lock your hair, please and thank you. I am your sign. You don't have to retwist your hair often. If you retwist too often, it's going to cause the locks to thin and potentially break off. Um, washing, you don't have to wash it often either. Like, cause you, you need new growth. So I mean, 
why would you <laughs> retwist do not cost that much unless you're getting like retwist in style or if you're getting lock extensions yada yada i don't believe in lock extensions that's just my personal opinion i don't like lock extensions i believe in being patient and letting your natural hair do the growth do the growing but that's just my opinion but let me be your sign lock your hair please it has many benefits and if you ever have any questions about it please let me know because i would love to talk your head off about how good locks are my biggest fears i don't want to say heights but heights because like there's a ferris wheel in dc or like national harbor that i want to do but like it's high but like i'm like yolo i'm gonna do it roller coasters are my biggest fear anything that buzzes crawls hops bug wise anything that buzzes crawl hops whatever a fear i'm not even gonna get into any specific bug or reptile anything that buzzes flies crawls hops sprawls whatever fear the only reason why roller coasters is my fear is because i don't like that when it drops my heart go from here to here or my heart go from here to my back like there's no i i can't do it i don't like the feeling i i just can't do it drop towers i hate drop towers and not even because of the height again i just don't like the feeling of my heart going from here no mm -mm. um another fear probably dying that's everybody's fear depends on how i die but fear of mine is dying another fear is losing someone close to me like my parents or something like that I don't even want to get into it, but my fear, another fear of mine is failing because if I, I'm not going to say if because I'm never going to fail. What? But another fear of mine is failing. Like if I feel like a failure in any type, like any way, shape or form, I beat myself up about it. I stress about it. So that's probably, that would probably be my number one because surprisingly, but so i have another question it's my plans for 2023 my plans for 2023 um youtube uh like my content and stuff like that brand deals sponsors collaborations um my business organization going big collaborating with other uh business organizations possibly do a convention this year of my business organization, whatever. Hmm, another plan for me. This is more like plans, goals, cause I also got asked what do I hope to accomplish on the last question. So I'm just gonna put both these questions here. But my plans for 2023 is to excel in both of those things. Um, accomplish my sophomore year of college complete my well this year complete my first year freshman year with dean's list again or potentially the president's list i think that's what they call it president's academic list whatever they call it um i also plan to get my license not too much on me i don't have my license because of time so but i do have my permits so not too much but i do plan on getting my license this year um what else that's pretty much it. The second question, uh, what do I hope to accomplish by the end of the year? Um, going big on YouTube, reaching 1K subscribers. I already know I'm going to reach 500, but reaching 1K, getting a plaque. Cause I know it's like a certain number that you reach uh, a certain amount of subscribers. I don't really know, but I want a YouTube plaque this year. No, I'm not gonna say I want. I'm going to get a YouTube plaque this year. I'm going to manifest. Um, another plan of mine. That's pretty much it. And then just get to the bag. Get to the bag. I'm gonna read more. I'm gonna journal more and stuff like that. So those are my goals. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my Q and A because I recently, not recently, I lied. I did an HBCU Girl Talk video. I will put that here, the thumbnail here, recently. And it did really good. A lot of people really enjoyed it. So I was like, let me do another part two. I'm sorry it took a while for me to do it. But here's like, this is like a little part two of a Q&A. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it, picking the camera back up. I'm going to be more consistent this year. 
that's another goal. I'm going to be more consistent because I wasn't really consistent last year. Kind of just picked up the camera just whenever I wanted. But I am going to be more consistent this year and more organized and planning for my stuff. But there's a lot more coming from me this year. So I hope you guys are excited. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tune in, hit that bell for more from me. And to the next video.